uh, guys, uh, good stuff. <laughs> guys, I'm in a, I'm, I've got a treat for you today. i got a fucking treat. I'm heading out, I'm heading away, um, I'm heading away. <laughs> HBO are flying me to Ireland to visit some of the sets of Game of Thrones. <laughs> I'm so fucking excited. I've got like, I don't have a watch. I'm gonna guess about 20 minutes until my taxi gets here, and then uh, I'm gonna go meet up with Daz Black and Joe Charman, the skills guy! So, check one, bring a battery charger, because obviously, not so good at that. You guys have caught me midway packing, I've got this weird sock thing for my head, in case, um, in case my hair looks bad. I've gotta bring your swim shorts, you never know. You gotta bring some staples, because you never know. You gotta bring a gum shield for the turbulence. Let's not forget a fresh loaf of bread, okay? I'm at the train station, and I got here a little bit early. So, I'm playing Pokemon Go. You can't really see, but I am. Ooh, a Pokemon. Uh, <laughs> uh, should we get a little Pokemon montage here? Next time you'll see me, <laughs> I want to say at the airport, but I know there's about to be a montage of me getting there. <laughs> We're gonna need a montage. Whoa! What's up, guys? Face up. We, <laughs> <laughs> we got the Joe Charmans, we've got the Daz Blacks. Ah. Oh. <laughs> What are you doing? Like, this is why I don't vlog with a massive can. There he is. I vlog with a little can. Wow. Wow. <laughs> anyway, guys, we're at the airport. Uh, we are. Oh. As stewardess. So we're gonna, we're gonna go to the plane. Prison. <laughs> to the prison. We're gonna go jump on the plane. We're gonna go to Belfast, and then we're gonna live that Game of Thrones life. And by that, I mean we're gonna stab each other and betray each other. Oh yeah. Guys, I want Daz to hurry up. But Daz is a nervous poo. Is he going for a nervous pre flight poo? Hashtag dazzling. <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag dumping Daz. <laughs> Hey Dad, how's, how's it feeling? I'm good, man. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, man. <laughs> we are at the airport. Airport though. Hey, 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 come on, no pictures. Sorry, Joe. Got one picture, one picture. Right. <laughs> wait, wait, come back, come back. And Daz looks like he's got PTSD. He's <laughs> just I, standing uh, <laughs> dead inside. I, I just want my bag. No pictures, no, no pictures, no pictures. Come on. Um, it's Perhaps. not recording. Oh, no, no videos, no videos. Suddenly, it's the most unflattering angle. Suddenly, I've got the best angle of Daz. <laughs> Hashtag, make this your print screen, guys. Oh, it's wild. Oh, one million views. Oh, one million views. <laughs> oh, we were there at Ground Zero. <laughs> guys, uh, just got to my hotel. Whoa! We're in Belfast. Hello, Belfast. Yes, I know my hair looks crazy. If you came here for hair tips and hair, good hair, you've come to the wrong channel, my friends. This channel is all about shit hair and nice hotel rooms. Anyway, guys, we are here with HBO, a Game of Thrones. Uh, we are going to go and do a cooking class with Game of Thrones style cooking. But tomorrow, we get to go to the fucking film sets and stuff, and it's gonna be so good, and I cannot wait to take you guys on the journey. We're gonna film some sketches at Winterfell, we're gonna go to the cliff in Dragonstone. There's a few other places. I won't tell you them all. You're gonna love it. What's up, bro? What's up, man? Are you vlogging? Yeah, this is our well, actually MTV Cribs. Whoa, welcome aboard, MTV. All right, show us your room. Spoiling these bags in here. Um, oh, wait a minute! I was just making you! I'm recording! This is MTV Cribs! <laughs> that camera's set up ready to go! It's filming, bitch! Oh, oh shit! Oh 
shit! Oh, shit! Welcome to my vlog, man. Welcome to my vlog, man. Shit, go and see Hugh's vlog. Man, if you guys want a sick channel, check out Daz's headphones, man. <laughs> oh. It's in the description. Yeah. <laughs> hey, welcome, welcome. Welcome, welcome. That's as you can see... Oh man, you've got a cool mirror! Do you not have mirrors in yours? No, 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 i got some mirrors, but they're not cool right Let now. me show you around. Here we have the mirror section. It's in pieces. Here we have the mirror section. And here we have the window section. I've got a window. That's Everything y'all need! Yeah, but Hugh, a room without a window. I've already... That's huge. Oh, My bed's actually bigger. Your bed's bigger? It's actually, it's enormous. I can't, I've never seen a bed that big in my Are life. Are you cereal? Yeah, I'm cereal. <laughs> Welcome to Belfast. We're here at the Game of Thrones meal and it's just my surprise. They're telling me this is edible. I know what you're thinking. Oh my god, that is... No wonder if everyone dies in Game of Thrones. Wait, I thought you were going to be like a little baby. I think you're going to be boring and like... Mark! 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 Look at Joe Charman. He's like listening. He like thinks he knows. He's like, Joe's just smiling like confidently. He's like... He has no clue what's going on. Like, I've See? Like, most of it already. See, I told you, Daz has, that doesn't have enough clue. What the? <laughs> Look at Schaefer over there. He's just nodding and smiling. He has no idea what the fuck he's doing. He made it. He made it into a flower. Those apples became a rose. A tablespoon of flour. Mm -hmm. Yeast flour. Sugar. Right. So sugar. Sugar. <laughs> What the fuck is going on? We got the eggs. We got the more eggs. The zest of the lemon. <laughs> lemon zest? You know, pretty sure uh, we've got this lemon cake down. We're about to live that lemon cake life, so stay tuned. Showing how to make Sansa's lemon cakes or cupcakes. 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 I did pay attention despite me not knowing what we're making. We're at our little workstations. We've got the Schaefer Bates. We've got Joe Charman, the skills guy. We have Daz Black. There was nothing that can go wrong in this particular situation. So we're going to make ourselves some motherfucking cakes. Daz has gone for the full. I hate my life, look. I'm depressed. <laughs> Shaper Bates here likes to do impressions, so if you haven't found him deathly annoying, go and check out his channel. I'm not drunk. I'm taking this very seriously, guys. I'm not drunk. I have heard these. I don't even know what you're talking about, sweetie. I don't even know what Joe's on about. He's the drunk one. Right. Our partner, Joe. It's on fire! You burnt the bloody water! <laughs> Oh, no. The water is raw! Oh, fuck me! Can you fuck me? Put the cling film in the pan. Fresh from Cork. It's all northern, it's southern. Beautiful. Beautiful apple. Get that? Snap it down. Hey, hey. No, it's important to texture the apple. That's all slap. Hey, look at that. Fresh. We've got the cooking instructions there, we've got wine, and we've got some ale, and I think we're supposed to use it not for drinking, but I might just drink it. <laughs> but we've got the ingredients, it says here, dissolve the yeast in the warm ale. I don't know what that means, but I'm just going to put one of these in here. Warm up a little bit. Yeah. I think poppy seeds or yeast. No, yeast. This yeah. looks like this looks like yeast. I think. Daz doesn't have a clue what he's doing. Everyone. Look at this. Look at this. What a little asshole. Right. Yeast is going in. Boom. We've got the yeast. Daz, am I supposed to stir this? I think I'm supposed to stir this. This is going to be beautiful, guys. I had this just now when you weren't looking. It wasn't the chef. I promise. The yeast in. We're going to do some. <laughs> We're going to do some whisking of whatever's left of what I didn't spill. 
He gave me a whisk. Why would you yeah, whisk yeah. it up? It's just gonna get caught. He gave it to me. The chef knows what he's doing, Daz. Daz thinks he so knows better than the chef. Yeah. Daz reckons I should use my hands. I don't believe him. Ah, uh, where am I? <laughs> right, guys, we're, we're creaming this bitch up. We're creaming, creaming, creaming it up! It's not burnt, it's technically a, a, a dish. It doesn't necessarily mean it's a... <laughs> it doesn't necessarily mean it's a delicious dish. Um, but, you know, it's a dish nevertheless. And I'm gonna do better than Daz anyway, because whatever Daz is doing, it ain't right. <laughs> Whatever this is, this yeast, we're gonna add the yeast into the mix. Oh. oh, okay. I see what I've done here, guys. What I've done is I've added the yeast to my stuff and I wasn't supposed to. Look, I'm gonna fix this. I'm gonna put the yeast back in the bowl. I'm about to fix this. This is what it looks like right now. <laughs> and now... Right, I'm putting this back because I think I made a mistake. Okay, you have done nothing since the last time I was down I, I, I had to a mistake. I poured that into here and then I had to pour it back. It was a real process, you know? <laughs> no eggshell, bitch! So I actually don't really know what I'm doing with this. I'm just gonna twist it around. And once it slops together, it's really just a waiting game um, before it just becomes delicious. I'm not entirely convinced I've done this right, but I'm sure it's gonna taste just as delicious as the next guy. I mean, I don't know, I've never done this before, so I feel like this is how it's supposed to look. I wouldn't say that's the definition of together. I'm not gonna lie, I didn't know I was only supposed to put a bit, a bit of flour in, I just put the whole lot in and then read it. Uh, oh, fuck, creation. fuck you, Joe. Check it, boy. Look, what's that? Joe's just... Fuck you, Joe. Nailed it. Damn it. This looks like the oven right now. Look at we'll that. Salty ass. This is Joe's feminine side. Look at that salt. That salty ass motherfucking bitch. Aren't they just something beautiful? God, Hugh, are you actually gonna like... Hey, Schaefer. How you doing? What was that knife about? Um, I was checking the knife. Just checking the knife? It's cool, bro. It's cool, man. Walk it off. Walk it off. Walk it off, Schaefer. You just squeeze him really hard. Because women like that, right? They like, they like that? Dude, 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 come on, man. Just pouring them in, bro. Look, these are gonna. T I know they look like shit, but they're gonna taste legit. <laughs> And also, I'm up under a lot of pressure right now. Oh, you, man. That's embarrassing. <laughs> How did he achieve that? It's almost special uh, in its own right. Down here. This one, they don't look like much, but they're going to come out incredible. I promise you. <laughs> you just need to have a little faith. This is coming from a guy that I watched on FaceTime drink rotten milk without even realising it was rotten milk until he made a cup of tea and it come up in what looks like he's just put in the fucking oven. Baking away. Yeah, I could have been more neater about them, but it's not really about how neat they are. It's just about how delicious they are. And these are going to be a maximum deliciousness. <laughs> Number one on the delicious scale. If these were on their charts music, it would be Despaciato Deliciousness or something. And voila! Guys, these ones are mine. I made these. The chef made those. No, I made these. And look at those horrible ones. Ugh. Oh, Daz is horrible. And these are mine. Guys, mine are delicious and they look incredible and they taste incredible. He lies, they're the chefs. And Daz's is just this horrible piece of shit. <laughs> He's lying. Well done, Daz, for fucking it up. Beautiful, yes, <laughs> girl. Right. They can't be that bad. I'm, I'm gonna give them a go. I'm gonna try this myself because Daz is a fucking liar. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I'm 
Ever since Jack complimented mine and told everyone they're better than Daz's, everyone's got involved. Annie, how are they? Okay, Annie doesn't get to say in this. Uh, what is Melanie? Melanie's gone for a different game. You know what? It, all that really matters here, guys, is Schaefer's and Jack's opinion. And, you know, Annie doesn't really. Her opinion doesn't matter in this circumstance, okay? Morning, guys. I didn't get to do my intro this morning because my battery on my camera was. Le fucked. Um, but I'm gonna do my intro now. We're here with the Game of Thrones weapons master with HBO and honestly all the weapons are just sitting there right now and we're just about to do a Q&A with him but you know what I'm gonna show you all of these weapons. We've got the dragon glass dagger. We've got uh, Euron's axe. The detail and intricacy of the of this is incredible, guys. Definitely one of my, uh, my favorite ones. This is one of the sand snake daggers, uh, so and it is. I mean, it's real. This is real. It's heavy. This is the dagger from season one, which was used to try and assassinate Bran. This is the actual thing, and it's actually weighted. It's solid metal. It's hard to express how amazing this is. Like holding this, knowing that it's gone through such a journey since season one. Right here, we have Oathkeeper. And the hilt, again, is really, really beautiful. It's so heavy. I don't know how Brienne manages to swing this around, because I'm struggling to hold it, even for just five seconds. Hey, Daz. I'm uh, a weapon in my own right. I wow. need a sword. Wow, are you serious? Just a lethal weapon. You shouldn't be around these, really. No, I'll be even lethaler. <laughs> I don't know if you can be trusted with no. these. I'm not going to pick them up. <laughs> you ready to kill those White Walkers here? No, but I am coming after half the Greyjoys, the Dornish army. Not that there's any spoilers in what I'm saying. Just did that. Yeah. <laughs> okay, let's, let's put that down. Just pop this away before, before I kill someone. Kill someone? <laughs> I love that. So guys, of course, of course, one of the fan favorites. We have Longclaw. Again, the handle, the hilt, this has gone through a lot with Jon Snow for the Mormons. Look at that. It is, it, even the detail on the blade is just so intricate. And I'm literally fanboying so much right now. The ultimate sword from the very beginning, Needle. This is the pointy end. <laughs> it's it's so light. It's so much lighter than I thought it would be. I don't want to keep waving it round because I don't want to be that guy that's just waving around swords while holding a camera. But honestly, it's totally understandable why it's called Needle. It's so much thinner than I thought it would be. Uh oh, Daz has found Needle. And um, do you want to feel the pointy end, you? Maybe I'll pick my teeth with it. <laughs> I'm just gonna put this down. <laughs> I wonder if we could uh, maybe steal this for the bedroom later. <laughs> oh, Daz. <laughs> I know. Where's Bran? <laughs> Schaefer, I don't think you're supposed to just wander off with the swords, bro. What are you, do what are you doing? Stick him with pointy end. That's not even needle. Shit, it's not. Shit. Who invited this guy here? Is this a correct way of holding it? You kind of just come, come down like that. The fuck. Yeah. Put it back. You're not supposed to have that. Guys, we're on our way to Winterfell. Oh shit. And the reason why I'm I look like this is because I don't feel so great. Just with okay Hi, Daz. Oh. Uh, no, I don't. <laughs> okay, I feel amazing. Thanks, Daz. The bus is... Me actually, Melia Murphy's here, and she, she's not feeling too great either. No, I'm tasting the bomb. Oh, it's Melanie. It's going to be projectile. <laughs> Melanie, no. Oh, stop bouncing. Guys, so see you at Winterfell in about... Now. Well, about one second. <laughs> Because editing, you know. <laughs> oh look, it's Joe Charman, the skills <laughs> guy. Welcome to Winterfell. And then at the very end, we'll have a bit of a competition. I'm a bit rusty. <laughs> okay, oh! so not bad. What do you think it does? First shot here. Number one. one. Nine, are you joking me? You're on the outer it, ring here. It, 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 so a couple of things that Daz might need to work on. Alright, watch and learn, people. 
Okay. Yeah, exactly. What's me and learn, right? You know yes. So if you're a wee bit too forward facing, get a bit more side on. I don't think he has skills. I think maybe the, I think the legends were a lie. The legends were right. true. If you get one shot, then it could just be luck. The legends were not true. The legends were not true. What's up, guys? Uh, I'm an archer now. Uh, so I'm just going to shoot some targets. Do you think you'll beat the legend that is Daz Black? Um, I think that's pretty easy to do. Oh my god, on the thingy! On the thingy! On the Four bullseyes. In a, row? Easy. In a row, it's not easy oh, being this great. Yeah. Did you do the thing where you uh, pierced an arrow with another arrow? Yeah. Yeah? Four times. <laughs> Like little finger. Would you like a little finger in your palm, possibly? You. I heard someone say little finger. <laughs> would you like, I would like little a little finger? finger. <laughs> I usually go for redhead, but you look just fine. Wait, do we all look badass? We, we do, we look, do pretty look badass. badass. Like, this is like the new boy band. What do we call ourselves? This is going to be the thumbnail. Winter so. Death. Look, look pimp. <laughs> Winter Death. Oh my god, it's the hound. I'm like, the worst combination. I'm like, hand of the king, hound. <laughs> I've got Jamie's sword. I will hunt. Hey, it's not how I fight it. He's a proper lava! <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you! <laughs> oh god! I've just been smashed by my own helmet. <laughs> A bit betrayed! <laughs> Guys, being part of the Night's Watch and everything, being in Winterfell is a really... Daz, are you okay? For the watch. For the watch. So this is literally Winterfell. We are inside Winterfell right now. The set of Game of Thrones. And look at this stuff. It's so cool. Honestly, like this feels like a real treat. I'm all in kit, walking around Winterfell. Just, it's crazy. We're uh, filming the next uh, Game of Thrones season eight. Yeah. I am uh, a new house to the show called uh, House Black. Uh, you can subscribe, we have our own YouTube channel. And uh, we have the finest hair in the Seven Kingdoms. That's pretty fucking sick. See you later. <laughs> Catelyn's bedroom with uh, Ned Stark. It's, it's, it's so crazy in here, guys. Like, the, you don't have no idea how it feels. It's so cool. And, ah, a lot of love for HBO for flying us out here. If that wasn't Pimp Daddy Fresh, I don't know what is. Set of Winterfell, I know that they add a lot of CGI and I know that they put a lot of like green screen and add loads of props and stuff, but just here on its own anyway, it's pretty damn cool. You don't have to have everything else here to, to feel like it's just fucking awesome. I'm gonna t go for a little tour around Winterfell. So, right here, if you are a Game of Thrones fan, you'll remember in season one that this yard here, the, uh, the Hound and Robert Baratheon come through and all the Starks are lined up here waiting it's loads of CGI here and all this stuff's been moved and the Starks are all lined up here, the armies, and Robert Baratheon and Ned Stark meet and they see the Hound for the first time. They literally come through this, uh, this gate, this, 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 this frit here, and it's awesome. Just, it's kind of stunning, but knowing that they filmed so many things around here for Game of Thrones, it's just awesome. Guys, I've just got back. We had an amazing time at Winterfell. Man, HBO have been too fucking good to us. I'm back in this incredible hotel room. I'm actually pretty hungry. So me, Daz, Schaefer, Bates and Joe, we're gonna go get some food. I would bring my camera and show you guys like a food montage, but you know what? I feel like you don't need a food montage in the same video where we had Game of Thrones. So I'm not gonna ruin this vlog by taking on a fucking food tour. So I will see you guys very, very soon.